Welcome on Makosi Network. Welcome to the channel, guys. Today is the big day. Big things are happening today. Chiefs is having trans talks with Molif Inzeki and the technical team to figure out what's the way moving forward. And we also have to talk about the biggest problem, the biggest problem Chiefs has. And a, a lot of you think that the biggest problem is firing Molif Inzeki. Technically, that is the easiest option. That is the easiest problem. There's an even bigger problem that has to be addressed. But I'll tell you about the big problem. Let's get to Molly Finziki. Molly Finziki has failed. You know how bad Molly Finziki has failed, guys. When Molly Finziki was hired by Chiefs, before he became a head coach, he was hired at Chiefs as a coach, like a youth coach. The youth coach's um, primary um, job, you know what it was? It was to make sure that the, we get the right talent in the youth structures and then the transition between youth, the, the development team, to the first team happens and to ensure that enough players get into the first team. Sharp, that was his job, job number one. Now, if I have to ask you, since Mule Finziki has been head coach, where are the youngsters? Wasn't his first job before head coach to ensure that youngsters are making it into the first team and are prepared to get into the first team. But when he got to the first team, we did not no longer see youngsters. Abum Dushabalo gone. Duba gone. Um Samkelo Zwane gone. This weekend when we were playing uh, uh, Culling Cups, what happened? There were no youngsters on the bench. No youngsters whatsoever. Nothing. Do Duba. Uh, even like Mkosimpilengob, if you still want to call him a youngster, but like the young players of Kaiser Chiefs were not there. It was only older players who are on the Chiefs bench and who are in the Chiefs team. So my thing is this, if Chiefs hired you, number one, before we even get to head coach, if Chiefs hired you to make sure that the young players push and get into the first team, and then you get the job of head coach and you fail to bring youngsters into the first team. What does it mean? What does it mean? Let me even let me even shock you some more, guys. Let me shock you some more. Since Molif Nsiki has come into the first team, he has not given a young player a debut from the development. He didn't give Jansen a debut. He didn't give Omega Mdaga a debut. So Molif Nsiki took t uh, players who were already there last season and he took the new players and he played them and he didn't even bring one. Not even one player as a substitute. One. We're saying one. Who's been doing well for the DDC team? Jansen. Did Jansen get 20 minutes? No. So Mulif Nsiki's job was a youth coach, but when he was a head coach, he said, screw youth. Stuff you. I don't care about youth. I don't care about the young players. I just want to play with the older players and I want to keep my job. So you see... What happens when you guys, when Kaiser Chiefs hires the wrong people? What I'm saying, why am I saying it's wrong? As much as people hate others one or whatever, but others one gave the young guys a chance. That is one thing you cannot fault. Yes, he didn't manage them the best and all of that, but he gave the young ones a chance. But now we needed a coach who's going to carry on from Atazwani, knows how to manage the youngsters better, knows how to kutaza the, like, um, motivate the youngsters, knows how to push the youngsters, and knows how to get them into the team properly. But Molif Nsiki failed to do that. So Chiefs have taken steps back from last season. Every season is the same old nonsense. We take one step forward, two steps back. This season we stepped took a step forward with buying the right players, players who can help us challenge for the league and cups. Then what did we do? We now have the team. What does Chiefs management do? They hire Muli Fintik. Three to five steps back. We now, now we, we last, the last season we were crying about players. Now we are crying about the coach. So my issue is when are they going to get it right and have the players and the coaches at the same time? Because they are not, they, they win here, then they lose here, then they lose there, then they lose here, then, uh, like, it just does not have balance, like, you know, yeah, that's my worry, that is now, Muli Fintzeki, what the news of to, that we've been hearing and rumors is that they are chatting to Muli Fintzeki, and they are making a decision, what do I think is going to happen, they are going to fire Muli Fintzeki, they are going to let him go, 
Because even West for Mulifinziki, his previous position is now occupied by Kevin Johnson. So he can't go to his other job. So he chances are he's gonna get fired. Unless they're going to demote him to be Vela Kumalo, the the youth what what, but I don't think I think he just needs to leave Chiefs. Together with Zwani and Shepard. Look, the one person who I don't wanna say give him a chance cause I, or whatever, but like the sad part is that we will blame Shepard in all of this, but we don't really know what he does and how much power they've given him. So for me, Shepard is a difficult one because I can blame him all I want, but I don't know how hard-headed Zwane and Zeki are when Shepard tries to communicate. Because number one, we saw Zwane. Zwane didn't like Shepard from last season. They were fighting. He didn't want to shake Shepard's hand sharp. Then this season, oh, Zwane and Zeki are best friends. So already you can see that Shepi is shut out a bit, but because he honors his job, he's there. So I don't want to speak for him, and I don't know what his contribution is to the failure, but he's there in there. So that's what I have to say about that. Who do we think is going to take over? Because Chiefs does not have timing and does not have planning, the management didn't go out and start looking for a manager and looking for replacements. So the only people who are there is number one, Arthur's one. He knows the team from last season. He he knows everything. He is number one to take over the job of Nzeki as the caretaker coach. Number two will obviously be Kevin Johnson, who he could take over as the caretaker coach. Who do I think they're going to pick? I feel like they will pick Arthur's one. If they had to go, they would pick Arthur's one. But at the same time, I feel like Arthur's one will be scared of that position because they get to be well up. So the fans will, if you are doing this to calm the fans, the fans won't give Zwane enough time if he, if he is going to do something like they will Kevin Johnson. If you put Kevin Johnson, you have at least till the end of the season. If you put Zwane, ha, lose the dub, you win. lose the dub because fans already don't want Zwane. So Zwane is not the smart hire. The smart hire is to say, we put in Kevin Johnson and to tell the public, the fans specifically, to be like, guys, this is not the coach. This is the guy who is going to look after the job as we search for the coach. Just so the fans know that they can't blame Kevin Johnson because he's not like they're going to be the coach. But if you put Zwane, already a lot of fans feel Zwane is the real coach and Nteke is the puppet. So Zwane won't survive if he loses Soweto Derby. So that's why I say putting Kevin Johnson, it's safer for the coach. It gives Chiefs management time to find a coach. But I will say this, if I was Chiefs management and they're serious about finding a coach, find a coach before December. Before December, find this coach that you're going to hire. Why? There's FCON, guys. The FCON is going to play, it's going to give the new coach time with the players to then finish off the rest of the season. If you don't, if you want to hire him, like when the FCON has already ended, it's too late. So I say December, hire the new coach, whatever. What is the, now let's get to the big issue. The biggest issue I said, and I'm actually touching on it anyway, but like the biggest issue Chiefs has to face, the biggest, 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 biggest issue. It's not firing in Zeki, it's not firing Zwane, it's not firing Shepard, it's not firing Skantonzo. It is, that is the easiest part of the job. The biggest, biggest, biggest part of the job is replacing all of those guys. Because Nabi came on the full squad, they rejected Nabi. That was the easiest one because Nabi was going to say, you in, you out, you in, you out. But now they don't have a Nabi. They don't have nothing. So if they fire all of these guys, technical team, zoop, gone. Who's going to run Chiefs? Because Chiefs didn't plan to, to, to replace any of these guys. So even the coach, let's start with the coach. Who can they really pick to take over from Chiefs? Because the local coaches have failed. The only coach who... Uh, and I know a lot of people have been saying Mangoba Niti and a lot of people have been saying uh, Kevin Hunt and all of that. And I'm like, guys, we may like these coaches, but Chiefs is a very big team. Mangoba Niti, I like him, but I don't think he will have the heart uh, and the toughness 
for this job. The only coach who would have the toughness for this job is Gavin Hunt. But Gavin Hunt, nah, yourself. I think we saw when he was coaching Chiefs, hey, it was trapping him mentally. He was always holding his head. He was crying. He was young. It's a difficult job, guys. A Chiefs, a, a coaching Chiefs needs an, a, a very arrogant coach, a very smart coach, a coach who, has, who can manage a full team. When I say that, I'm like, who? The, the people who have the energy of like the Benny McCarthy. Remember Benny McCarthy didn't give nonsense. I'm not saying hire Benny. I'm saying that kind of presence. You're going to mean I'm the boss here. Um, root crawl of former pirates. He had that kind of thing. That I even understand why people say machine Edgar crowd because machine also was like no nonsense. But we need a no nonsense coach. Not meeting the who's gonna come here and cry. Oh, 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 I don't like my prayers. I know. Not meeting Dob. Not Stuart Baxter. We don't need those coaches. We need a coach who has power. When I say a coach who has power, I'm like Pep Klopp. If you want to find. Those are the identities of the coaches. They do not take nonsense. Pep and Klopp, they want perfection. And that is what we need. We need a coach who's driving perfection. We need a coach who does not drive favoritism. We need a coach who's going to take out the best out of our stars. And that is the difficult thing because there is no coach that I view today and say, that's the coach. Yes, the coach who I'd say that's the coach would be Pizzo. Because Pizzo already knows how to get the best out of South African players and all of that. But Pizzo is too expensive, guys. Pizzo is earning Arab money. Do you know what Arab money is, guys? Pizzo could now be earning almost maybe plus five, uh, 5 million a month. We don't have 5 million a month, guys. Cheese is as much as we, we may be known as a very rich team, but 5 million a month is not possible. Already we're struggling with dollars 1.5 million. So imagine a, a pizza on top of that. Chiefs wanted to reduce billiards money because already they know financially it doesn't make sense. Chiefs didn't hire, uh, sign Bongani Zungu because Zungu also wanted 10 million for the year. There's no way we're going to give Bongani Zungu 10 million. So that is the thing, guys. Biggest problem, finding the right coach. Please like and subscribe. I really appreciate you listening, guys. Uh, we almost at 1,000. Please keep liking, liking, liking and subscribing. Tell your friends, tell your family. Share with your next door neighbor. Share with your brother. Share with your dog. Hey, if you have 50 YouTubes, subscribe on all of those YouTubes. Thank you, guys.